Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. So we are continuing with the afternoon of day eight, um, pretty much out immediately where we left off, as I promised. So we are going to have a look, and I'm going to have, as best as I can, an open discussion with myself about Timber and Stone, and whether or not um, it's realistically going to be worth continuing with this series with the current version of Timber and Stone. So as it currently stands, I am surviving quite happily and quite safely. There is no real difficulty here because I have very deliberately given myself the safety of this island and se separated myself from the world. Now, there may be some people that think that's a bit cheaty and a bit unfair because obviously I'm not really playing the game as it's intended. However, I would disagree. I believe I am playing the game exactly as it's intended. I have randomly generated a world, decided I wanted to have a go at building a base on an island. I have an island, and then I will eventually build across to the mainland, and that will allow me access to the mainland, and obviously allow enemies access to me. But that's not something that will be happening immediately, because for now, at least, I am being, excuse me, what is, I am being hindered by the game itself. So I would very much so like there to be a lot more going on in my world than there is. Unfortunately, the bugs with the AI and the herder and all sorts of other factors are currently affecting every aspect of this game and ruining it effectively. It was playable, even if it wasn't perfect, before it became 1.4. But the release of 1.4 does seem to have, in my opinion at least, added a lot more problems than it has solutions. So obviously some of the gameplay tweaks have been fun. Some of the additions have been interesting and seeing how the game mechanic has changed. So the storage is a nice idea, except for the fact that appears that you just bang storage down wherever you want and it's like a universal teleporting storage system. You have individual storage per person now, so that you can set how much stuff you want to carry and how much, how, obviously, how much work you want to be able to do in one go. Uh, I think that's, again, an interesting concept which is being obviously I guess it's his first generation so there's probably maybe some balancing that will take place again I don't see why you wouldn't have for example the men able to carry more than the women because in the real world I'd imagine in 99% of situations that would be true now I'm fully aware that there are women that are much bigger and stronger than me um, but they are few and far between in most cases um, you would expect the gentleman to be able to carry more than the woman. It'd be an interesting mechanic to see them implement it, but I don't think it will be the case. When it comes to portable storage, now I was quite disappointed with the build cart because I, my brain, when I saw it, sort of thought, "Ah, oh, cool. So uh, what what will happen here then is we will have a situation where you will set a." you'll set a builder to work and rather than carrying a chest full of resources to wherever he or she needs to go they'll drag the building cart over there and then the building cart will contain obviously a load more resources for them to use and they'll be able to do a lot more building based on that build cart. Now this is not the case because what the build cart does is effectively nothing. So it's just another teleporting pretend storage situation which is not going to help realistically in any way so yeah let's just throw down this bad boy here so this is going to be the site for the corner pillar for this particular corner again you do have access to a building area there's one just here but you don't seem to be able to or competent enough to find it. Let's just te check if I haven't been in total retard and done something weird with this. I selected a resource that I don't have access to. Where's the button? I want that one. Okay, so you're not building all of that fine, Dandy. Why don't you build this row here? Yeah. So I've totally forgotten, I've lost my train of thought because I was paying attention, trying to play a wall talk and that's messed me up. 
Oh, the resources, oh, yeah, the transporting resources. So the build cart is a teleporting of resources between locations. It's not actually a physical cart that's used to transport resources. Big problem. Also, big problem with the herder still. There is a herder glitch where, despite the fact that the herder spends pretty much the whole of her life walking back and forward between the hay bale and the animals, that she's not actually going to herd them. Let's build a hay bale in the middle of this pen. Ta-da! And then we can get rid of this one. I'm interested to see if you go and stand over here now and that makes you more interested in your animals. Or not. Let's get you to dig this out as well. Okay, well, I might as well get you to dig the core. Is it coal? I don't know what that is. But for speed, once again, again, makes sense just to put one of these mining stockpiles like right here. Because then, rather than travelling all the way down here, you can just walk to the one next to you and it will all populate into the world. Okay. Ta-da! So is that the same for this yet? Can I do something with this? What? What resources? Can only be food and seeds, I guess, right now. I have a lot of food and seeds. Oh, what are you doing? Are you feeding the sheep? Stop feeding the animals and do animal based research with them. Sort of stuff and junk. Yep, you're literally just going to stand there. We'll do a chair. <laughs> Put your chair here so you can just sit on it and watch the animals. I won't, just in case it totally messes everything up. What are you doing? Why are you being idle? Whoops. Bit too sensitive. So, there appears to be a perfect mess as far as your stupidity. You know there's resources available. Ah, skeleton. I forgot about skeletons again, didn't I? Nearly forgot about skeletons again. I will one day forget about them and that'll be the end of the game, won't it? They'll just come through and just tear me apart. So, as my first adventure with that particular situation when I got a migrant not a migrant I didn't get a migrant when I got a merchant begins with an M I'll, I'll take credit for beginning with M I've not had any success whatsoever with this cheaty cheeky little um, switcheroo I suppose the switch from 1.41 to 1.42 may may have influenced may, may have influenced that a little bit I don't know are you holding are you packing no you're not packing anything they're running out of hammers You finished building all that stuff, have you? Let's see how much spectra of this we've got now. Have we got any more copper? Nope. Got more tin. Got more iron. Coolio. Let's switch you then back to blacksmith. And also get you to make uh, let's go for an iron hammer or two. Let's put two of these on the two of these on the list. Loads of stone axes, not really gonna matter. You're rocking out with an arsenal full of raw stone. Good man. <gasps> You're doing it! You're building this brick wall! Oh my god! You are a considerably more competent builder than this chap over here who's a lady who I'll call him a chap just because it's funny. Yes! Nothing? Anything? Dust? No, broken an iron pickaxe. That's, I think that's our last iron pickaxe as well. 
now. Put two of these on there as well, just to make sure we've always got a nice iron pickaxe on the go. Oh, your incompetence is about to reign supreme, is it? Are you about to forget how to build one or put one foot in front of the other? No, you appear quietly comfortable with returning to where you just were. Can you walk up one step? You can! You are a phenomenally better builder than that first lady. You know how to walk over a one block high square. No, bad you. Get back over here. Finish what you were doing. Now those look like lots of different coloured blocks, but I have no concept of whether or not they are. Go for it all anyway. Get rid of all of this. So you're almost competent enough to finish building this now. Almost competent enough, I'll tell you that for a fact. stone hammer now have you it means you've got to trek all the way back over here and get another hammer you only, you only managed to build one I don't really know what it is just bang another ten of them out literally any point in you right now Oh, hang on. What the fuck? <laughs> 18 animal hair. And 6 wool. I don't know how much wool I had. But that's a... Hang about. Have you been secretly doing things in the background without me noticing? I think there's a chance of me just by coincidence finding that information out. not very rewarding because you're not leveled up yet. You're level three. No more animals in the little animal spawning spot up here? Oh well. Darkness approaches. You are actually building. This is almost unprecedented. Oh my life, where are you going now? What have you done now? Skeleton has killed a goblin. Okay, stop not going where I tell you to. Do the work I'm telling you to do, you little pain in my ass. Where's this goblin that's been killed? <laughs> it's a good job that they're kicking each other's ass, because it's quite amusing. And one of these boars got to go down, surely. Surely that goblin wolf rider's going to go through that boar. <laughs> Clean, not hungry. Just running around, he's scared of them. Maybe he's scared. He's a oh no, there we go. Now he, oh no, he decided not to take the life of that boar. Oops, game saved. Okay, so as far as my blacksmith goes, you're now boring and idle. So, what job can we give you that I'm particularly interested in? I guess we just make you make more more stone, do we? More bricks ready for the wall. 117. That'll do 50. No real problem with that, I guess. No real problem with that at all. Any secret migrants arriving? Nope. I am just collecting skeletons though. One, two, three. 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 now. I believe I only counted 10 when I started this particular round. Ooh. Another skeleton. Let's kill another goblin. They are angry. Angry bastards to each other. I don't, again, I don't need much more food, so I don't think I need to worry too much about... There's still advantage though, is there? I'm tempted to build some rope, build a ladder, because I'm interested to see if having a ladder affects these chaps' ability to build in any way. Now I need to stop him being a prick and building over the top of himself. Because he will do it, I know he will. So if I do that, that should prevent him from being an apocalyptic bell end. You just brought brick with you? Why didn't you bring some stone as well? Because you need to build the stone part of that wall first. The brick part of the wall is of no real use to anybody right now. Plodding along, doing some stuff, building a thing or two. Back you go to the wall stockpile. Glenda, you're a level 10 stonemason. Why are you unable to build the simplest of bricks? You're knackered. But let's put you on to a wood chopper and do some trees in for a bit. Just because I've noticed I'm going I'm not going low, but I think it would be a benefit to have a have a go at a few of these trees just before you go to bed and then you can come back to your veggie patches tomorrow go and have a go at those trees should all be good in the hood let's go quickly underground and have a goose at oh you're nearly finished aren't you then. So let's knock this section out of here. I guess. No harm in that. Keep you almost continuously mining stuff as your main role in life. I don't know why that's up there. I'm sure I've never been up there before. Hmm. can't decide whether to leave these two towers hollow. Say hollow. With only a two brick thickness. And then use the insides for, like, I don't know, maybe housing or something. Or storage. Or to fill them in a bit more. Um, to give them a bit more of a bulk as far as defense is concerned. I suppose I could just fill in the front half because I'm going to get attacked from this side. I'm going to build a bridge here out across the map. So if I was to... Nothing's going to get attacking me though, is it? I don't really know what I'm doing, let's be honest. I don't know what sort of meanies, meanies and beasties there will be um, added in the future as far as bosses that can attack castle walls. You're actually doing some building, so you're doing something. You're not, you're not being a total muppet. You're doing some mining up here as well. Let's just bang that on there. Again, that looks like different coloured stuff to me. I would have said this was different types of different types of resources. So let's see what happens when we mine all of this. See what goes down. You're nearly a competent builder. Yeah, don't get too excited. So I need to work out <laughs> where. So there's the one. So I need to go two, 
one, two, no, two, one. It's got probably dark. It's probably dark again now. Two one 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 two 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 one 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 two. Testing testing. One two three. Not much chance of a migrant anymore. The skeleton bobs have all arrived at my pseudo hall, ready to kick someone's teeth in. Go, John West, you little pro. Being constructive and helping me forward and f forward forward my castle building. I've actually but been more successful with building my castle in this, on this day than I have, I think, in the combination of the last four or five days. You've done almost all of this wall and almost all of this wall on your own, giving me a much more logical representation of my castle than I've ever had before. And I pretty much love you for it, man. Um, racing through this, are you? You're chippily chopping those trees down like a pro. <laughs> These wild boar are very restrained. They don't appear to be just willingly or openly attacking the, the hay at all. Have we got any more hay? Suddenly it gone up for no obvious reason. Not yet. I'm watching you. I'm not really sure. Oh wait. Was it when I had the forager on? Did the forager do something? Because Oh, whoa, 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 whoa hello! Hello chappy! Where have you come from? You little sneaky bastard. Clearly there is uh, a little bit more of a hidden a hidden wildlife relationship. Ooh, what the hell was that? Made me jump there, I thought I saw a goblin. <laughs> Bring your little boy friend back in here. I mean she's gonna sort of down here again. Damn her. Come over here and finish your bloody job. I will light these fires. No. Come over here and finish your job. Light up these fires as I normally will. Normally would. Ha, <laughs> normally would. It's a pun. There we go, give it some light. Release and domesticate. I'll collect, collect some, some. No, just feed it. I understand that feeding it is an important part of your daily job, but also defur it a little bit. Nope. Stand near the hay bale and look at your animals pondering around. Again, it would be fantastic if you would actually collect some something in front of me so I could see. Currently, I do not believe you are able to function as a human being. I really want you to show me you're not incompetent. Well, I'm not incompetent for not realising I had so much animal hair and therefore could make rope. You're just a pro, mate. You've built this square, have you? No. You're not a pro. You're a bit of a weirdo. Is there anybody who watches my videos that understands the building mechanics? Is this bullshit because he's just a retard? Or is it because there's a problem with the distance that they can be from 
the equipment they need. So if I put that there and that there, would he immediately just finish building all of that? Because that looks like he's further away up there than he would be if he was down here. But yet he seems happy to build this. I don't understand what the mechanic is at the moment and how it's all coming together. Should be dropping trees. That's the job I've given him. Oh. Oh, we've all flopped. Skeleton kills the goblin. Mine some tin ore. You're gonna... That's not a good place for you to sleep. Come back in here. You're banging through that. You fall asleep over here. Why have you stopped falling asleep in logical places? So the last couple of episodes, you've all walked home and fallen asleep. Now you just fall asleep in random places. You need to make a mountain out of that. You're just absolutely faffing around. Take the longest time ever, why don't you? Do you not... Do you not sleep? Yeah, it's night time. Why are you... Are you, are you in a bad mood? I told you off, and now you're going to just work forever because you don't understand how sleeping at night works. You're just an incompetent bastard, aren't you? You refuse to follow instructions, and it means that you're just going to continue working like a machine. There we go. You physically can't carry anymore after you finish mining that one block. Not what you're gonna do. You're just gonna carry on. Don't think you are. Come in here. Come over here, love, and go to sleep, and I'll call it an end to the episode. Oh, it's a massive episode. Sorry, I didn't realise I've been going for 27 minutes. Oh, I've been just been enthralled by what I've been doing. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the end or the afternoon of day 8 and the early part of the evening. Um, I'm going to call the episode here because I didn't realise we were nearly at half an hour. So, I hope you enjoyed the first part of this episode, which was me basically just rambling about how I'm cross at this game. And the second half of the episode where I just carried on trying to work and play Timber and Stone and get myself prepared and set up. Ideally, I'd love to be able to get the castle walls built so that I could then start looking at the bridge and actually start preparing to fight some enemies and perhaps finally put a proper path and gate and things in place so that I can have regular chances to spawn enemies and have a proper fight with the goblins and skeletons and things. But we'll see. Those are all long, long-term ambitions that I have now that they're, obviously the game is, is just currently in a little bit of a glitchy, buggy, bastard mode. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. As ever, I always appreciate a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Respond to any of my ramblings from earlier. That'd be ideal. Let me know uh, if you agree, disagree, or how you expect the game to progress, or what you expect to see from me, or what you'd like to see from me in the meantime. I'm genuinely considering going back to my old save in 1.3, just so I can carry on playing in a game that functions as realistically as, as best as it can do at the time, even if no enemies would spawn. I suppose it's not really that ideal, is it? Oh well, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.